first like proper wedding that Adam has ever been to. Quick fit check! <laughs> Nightmare, which we don't have to get home right now. Even in the hot time, you and I can weather any storm. Wow, wow, it's pretty nice up here. Just have a bedroom. Hello! channel pew 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 that's actually quite nice yeah, yeah. maybe well maybe we should show the sunset go on let me show them so where look at this guys look at it wow it's beautiful it's so beautiful look at it all um, right bring it back and uh, my mommy's telling me to bring it back yeah, i'm going okay. to do it guys Right, Gwe, 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 kapow. Do you want to tell everybody where we are? We're in a hotel because tomorrow we're going to go to mommy's friend's wedding. Basically, yes. We're in a travel lodge, so a budget hotel, and tomorrow one of my very best friends is getting married. So we have driven down tonight. So I was initially going to drive down tomorrow morning, but I'm so glad. We did it now because it's quarter past nine. We've just arrived. I left at half two. So it took a while. So Auntie, it's it's Auntie Kit and Joe who are getting married tomorrow. And so that's one of one of my friends from university. And we've actually be, they might have been in a, a video a couple of years ago. We've been to stay with them a couple of times at their home in Essex. So yes, I'm excited. You excited? I know it's yeah. gonna be like a such a beautiful wedding. Oh, like already the location where it is is just amazing. But anyway, we've just got here. It's quarter past nine. It's super late, and it's gonna yeah. be a really, really, really long day tomorrow. So I'm gonna get this one in bed. So let's see. Yeah, this one. We're getting <coughs> showered and in bed, and then I'm gonna start getting myself all prepped. Got eyebrows to pluck and things to do. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know how clean it is. I don't know, I don't know how often they clean under the bed. I don't know. Are you sleeping down there tonight? That's fine, I'll sleep up. No, I'm not sleeping. You sleep down, down there. Here. It's a little bit noisy outside, but. Mommy, there's a bad TV in here. He's fast asleep, snoring away. <laughs> so we've had to close the window because the traffic's quite noisy outside, and now it's silent, but then we've put the aircon on, and the aircon is so noisy. But um, I think I'm going to have a shower. I'm thinking of fake tanning. I am a, kind of a little bit tanned from Uganda, but I'm going to put a layer of fake tan on, I think and put my hair in heatless whatever you call it hoping it works for tomorrow so i'm gonna do all that i've also got to iron all our clothes i think i'm just gonna do that should i do that today should i do it tomorrow i'll get myself ready first and i've got time i'm gonna iron as well i'm so glad he fell asleep it is pretty late but tomorrow night is gonna be such a late night we're gonna be there until midnight so i want him to get as much sleep as possible it's not as light in here as it looks camera kind of brightens it up adam is pretty much in dark but he is such a sound sleeper i've literally just dried my hair and it hasn't even woken him up um i always say like i we make an active effort to actually be really noisy around our kids like from them being little so that they can sleep really soundly even if there's noise really important in uganda because sometimes there's like 24 hour churches or parties and things that are just so noisy that my kids can sleep through all of it so also really handy when you're sharing a hotel room with your child and you want to dry your hair. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to do um, heatless curls tonight. It's very hit or miss. I'm not very good at stuff like this. And sometimes it doesn't work at all and sometimes it turns out amazingly. Um, so we'll have to see in the morning. <laughs> the aircon is really not working properly in here though. I took this with me to Uganda when we've just been there and I haven't used it once <laughs> whereas I do occasionally try to use it here if it doesn't work I'll have to try and curl my hair I've bought my normal curling wand as well also not very good at that I've been like five times ever in my life 
I don't think you're supposed to sleep with a clip in, but whenever I've taken it out, then the whole thing falls out, so I will be sleeping with a clip on my head. Perfect, and look absolutely ridiculous. I'm wearing Josh's t shirt, and now I'm going to go to bed. So I'll see you in the morning. Morning! Morning! How did Adam sleep? Bad. That's not true. Adam took up the whole bed all night with pushing mummy out of bed. Well, she's not giving me a little room. Does it look like he has no room? I only have this space, but it looks like you have all of this. He also stole all the covers last night. Yeah. I'd probably look ridiculously dark because obviously it's like the developing type. I've got to go and wash it off. And I think there's a Costa over there. I think we're going to head there for breakfast. Adam's hungry. You're hungry, right? Go to a cafe. Yeah. We're going to go to a cafe and get some food. And then after mommy will come back and get ourselves ready. What do you mean? I'm already ready. No, you're not. What do you mean? You will to see your panties. I mean, I'm going to put some trousers on, but... I've already, I've already done my hair. That's where you're going to wear. Hmm. Ah. And though, if you're going to wear that, I'm not going. <laughs> Everyone will say, why are you not wearing a wedding dress? I, why not getting married? No, you have to wear like a dress, not that. What would everyone think about but, you? Why did my hair all fancy? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get up. I've got to go and wash this yeah! off. Obviously take... Alright. Obviously take this out and then we're going to head for some breakfast. Yeah. Moment of truth with this hair. <laughs> right. Crazy curly. I do think it all... Uh, my hair falls out really fast though. I think it will settle. I hope. It's not quite. Well, it's gone so big and poofy. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 hmm. Not sure about that. <coughs> They're not very nice curls. We've just come back from Costa. This one didn't really fancy a lot of the food there, so we went to Greg's on the way back. <laughs> that is literally how I'm eating my sausage roll, because I don't want any crumbs on the floor. Or my vegan sausage roll. Yesterday was a really, really long day, and someone went to bed really late, and obviously a really tiring journey. So I'm really trying to convince them to have a nap, because I can already see. No, a little bit, a little bit grumpy, and it's going to be a long day today. No, it's not going to work because like, the Wi-Fi is not working here, so you can't... There you go, just go on. You want to go FIFA? Yeah. To the game! Woo! 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 Right. Woo! 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 It's doing Adam's shirt now. You're going to look super smart, aren't you, babe? We are ready! Let's look We're ready! Quick fit check! Let's look in the... Adam's looking smart. Just have a look over there. <laughs> oh, and the taxi's here, so we better hurry up. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. He's back on his switch. That's fine. I'm absolutely exhausted. Feeling a little worse for wear. Too many gin and tonics. I will let you all know about the wedding probably once I'm back home. I'm just having an absolute nightmare. My internet, my phone, like Wi-Fi data, everything just is not working. And we're like five hours away from home and I'm very, very, very reliant on Google Maps, which we don't have to get home right now. So I've been on the phone to my mum. She tried to tell me what motorway is. It's like three or four motorways. So wish us luck.
which is very good luck. Which is very good luck because I don't know how I'm getting this home. Come on, we got to pep up. Oh, it has been a couple of weeks now since the wedding. It was a beautiful wedding, but as you may have noticed in that last clip. I had a little bit too much fun and I wasn't feeling great the next day and that drive home was extremely painful. It did take me a couple of days to recover. That was the first like proper wedding that Adam has ever been to, like you know, full wedding ceremony, everything. And he was the most handsome wedding date and we had a lovely time. Although he did kind of ditch me for the majority of the wedding. He didn't he didn't keep me company. Luckily, I saw some girls there that I haven't seen since uni. So it was the first year of uni that we were there together. I actually moved for the second year. Um, and so that was like 12 years ago or something. So it's been quite a while since I have seen them. And I just cannot believe that much time has passed. That is just crazy to me. But we had such a lovely time. It was honestly one of those disgustingly perfect weddings. Love my friend Kit so much, but does she have to be so perfect? It was like one big family affair. She looked absolutely stunning. And then it wasn't a legal wedding, so she had her younger brother do like the, um, I don't even know what you call it, you know, like the actual marrying of them, and that was really good. Uh, her older brother is a head chef, so he did all the catering. Her, I'm trying to remember, her dad is a jeweler, so he made the rings. I think her mother-in-law did all the flower arrangements, and so and all the flowers were from her and her mum's garden. So. It was just lovely how like everyone was involved in that way and everyone had come together to, to do it all. Her mum also surprised her with one of those singing waiters and it was just generally like just a really, really lovely wedding. Adam, so Adam barely spent any time with me, but he's just so confident. I actually wish I was more like him because he just got to know everybody. It didn't matter their age or anything. So as soon as the ceremony was over, we went out to the lawn where there were like, you know, drinks and bits and bobs. There was a game of tug of war and various other things and he was challenging everybody <laughs> to a game of tug of war straight away just going up to people and playing tug of war with everybody <laughs> 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 He also, there was a tractor doing rides. I did go on it once and it was actually crazy. And Adam went on that multiple times with different people. He then ended up helping the head chef, Katie's brother, doing all the cooking and he helped cook all the food. He did burn himself, I knew that was going to happen. Um, and then at one point I lost him and I couldn't find him and I was searching around the grounds and I found him. He'd gone to the house, which is kind of like separate because she was like doing their, their celebration was in a barn and he had gone to the house where the owners live and he'd met uh, like the owner's wife, the, the lady owner and her children who were playing on the trampoline in their own private garden <laughs> with her kids and eating ice cream and so I ended up chatting to her for ages but I just honestly the way he just can just go and make friends with anyone I had to be a bit careful with it but obviously it was a very very safe area it wasn't as if any strangers or anyone would be able to access there and then there was another point in the night where he rolled up in like the owner was driving what was it it's like kind of like a mix between like a golf buggy and a pickup truck it's like kind of like a golf buggy but with, with like an open back and adam was just like chilling in the back as the owner drove up and i was just like this kid like he just gets in everywhere and he just has like the best experience and loads of people were coming up to me and telling me how amazing he was and yeah i just 
ah, it was a lovely day and I'm just so glad we managed to go to it because obviously I didn't initially know if we'd make it back from Uganda but um, I'm so happy we did. I did spend the day a little bit jealous only because it was kind of like looking around and I'm so happy for my friend but looking around and seeing her have everyone she cares about all her friends and family all in one place and she's having the best time and right now mine has slipped between two countries and I've never got to experience that but you know hopefully one day anyway we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you again in the next one bye guys